Hey guys, welcome to the 145th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to capture uh, an image of your screen. So for this tutorial, all you're going to need is a button and a picture box. And once you have those on your form, just go ahead and double click on your button. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is create a new bitmap. And a bitmap is basically just a type of image. And we're going to be using this bitmap to store the image of our screen capture. So we're going to say bitmap. I'll just call it B and set it equal to a new bitmap. And this bitmap is going to call for the width and the height of basically this drawing or this bitmap. And we want it to be the same size as our screen. So we're going to be using the screen class to get that size. So we're going to say screen dot primary screen. And the primary screen is basically just the screen that has the taskbar at the bottom. And if you're using multiple monitors, then you only have one uh, monitor that's displaying this taskbar right here. And then we're going to want to use the dot operator to access the working area property. And the working area is basically just everything on your screen. And then again, using the dot operator to access the uh, width property. And the width is basically just the width of your screen. And then we're going to want to do the same thing, only the height of our screen, not the width. So we're just going to say dot height here. All right, so now we have our bitmap all set up. The next thing that we need to do is create new graphics in order to um, draw our screen capture. So we're going to say graphics g equals graphics dot from image. And our image that we're going to be using is this bitmap. So we're just going to say b. All right, so now when we draw the um, screen, it's going to be displayed or stored in this uh, B variable or this bitmap. All right, so now to capture our screen, we're going to be using a method inside of the graphics class. So we're going to say G dot copy from screen. And the first parameter that it calls for is a point, and it says the upper left source. And basically just the point on your screen at which we want it to start capturing. And we want it to start at the upper left, so 0, 0, and then we want it to capture the entire screen. So we're just going to say point dot empty. And then same for the point upper left destination. And this is basically just the um, point in your bitmap at which you want it to start copying the image to. And you want it to start at the beginning of the bitmap, so we're just going to say point dot empty for this as well. And then finally, the size of our screen that we want it to capture, or basically just the rectangle that we want it to capture um, our screen. So we want to say screen. Uh, primary screen for our primary screen, dot working area for basically the entire screen, and then we're just going to want to say dot size since it calls for a size right here. Alright, so now everything should be stored in this bitmap right here, so we can just say picture box one's image is equal to this bitmap's image. So we're just going to say picture box one dot image equals B. Alright, so now we debug here and click this button, we should uh, get a screen capture of our screen. Yep, perfect. And if I was to like resize this right here and then capture again, then you should see that, yeah, now in this picture my uh, form wasn't as big because it took the screen capture when my uh, form was smaller. Alright, so now another thing that you could do is basically just repeatedly uh, screen capture your screen to give the uh, illusion that it's a video. So you're going to need to be using the system.threading namespace right here. And we're just basically going to be copying this um, code right here into a method that we can thread. So I'm just going to say void blah and then paste this in here. All right, so we're basically just going to be creating a new thread. I'll just call it t instead of equal to a new thread. And the uh, method that we want it to thread is this blah right here. So I'm just going to type blah. And since we're not invoking it, we don't need to put the uh, two parentheses after it. And now in order to basically start this thread, we're just going to say t.start. Now there's one more thing that we have to do. We're just going to have this basically be in an infinite for loop so that it just re repeats this code over and over again. And the reason that we're going to be threading it is just so our program doesn't freeze and we'll actually be able to see the images that it's capturing. So I'm just going to say for and then just put um, two semicolons in there. Basically, just putting two semicolons in there will just make it infinite. And then I want all of this code right here to be inside of the for loop, so I'm just going to enclose it in uh, curly braces. 
Alright, so now I need to debug here and click the button. It should basically just update this over and over with our screens captured. Yep. And if we move it, you see it like shifts. In the image, if I was to like open um, one of these right here, a dialog, see it shows up in the uh, screen capture as well in the picture box. And it like moves with it since it's actually capturing it over and over again. So yeah. That's pretty much it for this tutorial, so see you guys.